video, I'm going to show you how to answer exam questions involving exponential growth and decay. So before we have a look at the first question, I'd just like to draw your attention to this formula here. It says y equals a brackets 1 plus or minus r all raised to the power of t. So this is the formula that we're going to be using for exponential growth and decay questions. All it means here is y is the end value, and to work out the end value, you have to take the start value a, multiply this by 1 plus or minus r, which is the rate, percentage rate, and then you raise this to the power of t, which is time, okay? So if it's a question involving exponential growth, Sometimes it will say exponential increase in the question. You have to remember to use the plus symbol inside the brackets here. And if it's a question involving exponential decay, sometimes it will say exponential decrease. Then you would have to take the minus symbol inside the brackets instead. Okay? So we'll refer to this as we go along. So in the first question, it says the number of trees is decreasing exponentially at a rate of 1.75%. Per year. 11 years ago there were 980 trees. Calculate the number of trees now. Give your answer correct to the nearest integer. So in this first question we have to calculate the number of trees now. So that's the end value y. Okay. So to calculate y we have to take the start value a, i.e. the number of trees there were 11 years ago which is 980. Then we have to multiply this number by 1 minus the percentage rate. Minus because in this question it's decreasing exponentially. Okay, So it's going to be 1 minus 1.75%. So if I write that as a fraction, that's 1.75 over 100. You can write it as 1.75 with the percent symbol if you prefer, it's exactly the same thing, okay? Not forgetting to raise it to time, which is 11 years in this question, so to the power of 11, okay? So now I've filled in all the values, I can type that into the calculator, and when you do that, you should find that you get 807.0198. Okay, but remember to get full marks, we have to give the answer correct to the nearest integer, so the nearest whole number. So check the digit after the decimal point, so it's zero, so it doesn't round this number up, so we're left with 807 trees. <laughs> a charity raised a total of $1.6 million. After 2015, the amount increased exponentially by 2.4% each year for the next five years. Work out the amount raised by the charity in 2020. So in this question, it says the amount increased exponentially instead. So that's an example of exponential growth. Okay, so you have to remember to use the plus symbol here when applying the formula instead. Okay, and just like previously, it says to work out the end value y, okay, so after the five years. Okay, so to work out y in this question, we have to take the start amount, so that's the amount of money they raised in 2015, so $1.6 million. And you can leave it as 1.6. You don't have to write it out in full like this, okay? Because when you look at the answer line, it says million here, okay? If it didn't say million, then you could write it out in full. But since it says million, we don't have to write it out in full. We can just leave it as 1.6, okay? So then you have to multiply the start amount by 1 plus the percentage rate. So the percentage rate is 2.4%, so that's the same thing as 2.4 out of 100. Not forgetting to raise it to the power of t, so the time in this question is 5 years, so raised to the power of 5. Okay, so now you can type this into your calculator, and when you do that, you find that it is 1.80143 and so on. And I'm going to round my answer to three significant figures, 
as that's what's required for this exam with Cambridge, but always check with your exam board how they expect you to round to make sure you get full marks, okay? So three significant figures, one, two, three, check the fourth figure. This figure is smaller than five, so it doesn't round this value up, it just stays a zero. So the final answer is 1.80, okay? So you can write your answer down here, that is 1.8 million. So in this question, it says that the value of a car decreases exponentially by 10% each year. The value now is $6,269.40. Calculate the value of the car three years ago. So in this question, it's decreasing exponentially. So that's an example of exponential decay. So you have to remember to subtract inside the brackets here. And this time, the question says to calculate the value of the car three years ago. So we're trying to work out the start value A instead, okay? So you need to begin with writing down the end value Y. So that's the value of the car now, okay? So 6,269.40, okay? So start by writing down the end value. Remember, this is equal to A, the start value that we need to work out, multiplied by one minus the percentage rate. So in this question, it's one minus 10%, so 10 out of 100, raising to the power of t, which is 3, because it's 3 years ago. Okay, so in this question, we have to solve the equation for a. a is being multiplied by all of this. So we have to divide, okay, that's the opposite of multiplying, in order to solve and find a. So we have to divide 6,269.40 by 1 minus 10 out of 100, all raised to the power of 3, okay? And by doing that, we're working out the value of A. So when you put this into the calculator, you should find that you get 8,600. So that is the value of the car three years ago.